Good evening. After years of pushing for a new library in downtown Boise, the mayor is hitting the brakes. Mayor Dave Beter announcing today he wants to reset the project that was already on hold. The announcement comes about after the results from the election night last week when Boiseans overwhelmingly said they want to have a say when it comes to big ticket items like a library and a new stadium. Our Joey Prechtel is here tonight. He spoke with both of the mayoral candidates about the project and what a reset would look like. Joey? Well, Mark, Mayor Beter told me today that as the project is configured right now, it's simply not ready to move forward. At this time, it's not 100% clear what this reset really means. The mayor told me he plans on re-engaging with the public, having a conversation with the residents, and then move forward from there. He told me they will look at the cost of the library because originally the city did budget $85 million for this project, but rising construction and material costs put the project about $20 million over that. It's a vital part of what we do and we need a new library and uh, we're anxious to get out and, uh, and tell people more about it and get their thoughts and, uh, and move forward with a, with a project that, uh, that works. But they value libraries just as I do, but they wanted to see this done differently and led with a different style of leadership. It didn't take an election night to tell me that and the public knows clearly um, that they can have better and they want better. Now that was Beater's challengers in the runoff election. City Council President Lauren McLean, she told me it was clear that voters did not support the current project and the public needs to be involved every step of the way to really find out what they would like to see in a new downtown library. Ultimately, it's really going to be down to the voters to decide what path this library project takes because on December 3rd, Boiseans will decide who will be the next mayor between Beater and McLean. Mark. All right, Joey Practical reporting for us. Joey, thanks.